Hey guys, you here with none of it for Blender. I decided to record this one just now because uh, I'm, I'm fixing some stuff for a uh, for a pack that we're preparing, a new product we're preparing together with Josh and, and Ducky, Ducky 3D. And, it, you know, this is just a part of, uh, of a staircase. And there's an interesting issue here which you're probably gonna uh, run into when you when you do bullions. And what I've done, without realizing it, I apply this bullion here, right? So let me just uh, zoom in here, and I overshot this bullion through another bullion. You see? So there's a cut in here, right? And there's a cut on the side. Let me just delete this part because it's gonna be annoying me. Uh, let me just uh, control delete this rubbish and move the origin to geo there we go so now we can operate this easily um you know you can see this right it's just the boolean went through and i want to show you how would i go about you know cleaning this rubbish because it's actually quite quite difficult to do because we got two walls meeting together right and and you know there's a lot of angles and this is gonna be fun to fix okay just quickly before we start exciting stuff coming to our patreon on december and january so if you would like to support josh and myself as blender bros on patreon link in the description check it out see you there so first of all what i would do right is uh man this is gonna be interesting hang on let me think i actually need to think how to fix this shit um well, first of all, I can remove I can remove these walls, right? I mean, these faces. Sorry, um, that's one. Now, the second thing I would do. Now we need to, you know, we need to um, change how this bit looks, right? Because it's just too deep. So what I would do is first move these uh, to the left. So select one of these words here on the top. Alt A and left. So they're gonna be, you know, on the same line, and that's uh, I'm using machine tools for this one. Where is this wall ending? I mean, this uh, I don't know why I call them walls. I think this one, right? Face. Yeah, let's delete it, and then we can simply um, combine these, select these, and press F to fill it up. Yeah. So okay, so now this face is fixed, right? But now we get this problem that you know, if I um, no one's gonna see this, but it's gonna annoy me, right? This is just simply going too deep. So we got two options, right? <clears throat> Either move this one in, which is not an easy thing to do, right? Because it's angled, right? So let me see this. Actually, we could do this, in fact. No, we can't because you see this one encroaches here on the top. So it's a little bit difficult. So we need to do something with this. Now what we could do, right? We could move this one inwards. The only problem is if I do that, it's not going to be, you know, cohesive and sort of um, in design with, with the front because the front is, you know, is straight. So if I if I move these verts a bit in inside here, kind of like, you know, chamfer them, it's just not going to look good. So what I would probably have to do is move the whole thing down. Um, the only problem is that... Uh, it ain't gonna be easy because I will need to move it at an angle, right? So if I move this this whole shape left down, it needs to be at a, a specific angle. So what I'll do is grab this face and go to create a custom um, transformation. I would grab these faces here, right? Go to side view orthographic and g and let's see which axis would this be y y and literally move it on y axis just a little bit right and now i can probably fill this in okay so uh let me see this let's uh let's select these five and f i cannot move this because it's a connecting edge from a from this element right in fact this one would be much better if this one actually ran this way in the middle you don't want connecting lines to go in the bevels it's just a usually bad idea and then simply select uh, let me see this select these two and just press f f f f and i think we're done right and now you see we fixed this now we got this uh cut out here which is straight 
and we got this cut out here in the bottom uh, which doesn't actually pierce through so there you go a bit of a conundrum but uh, can be easily solved and now we can just copy this to the other side um, of the stairs right so well I'll take X to reset mirror and boom sorted this one here you know this could be something something in here I don't like how this looks let's just create some point of interest here like that and mirror this in fact yeah this one is fine well thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did and as usual the links in the video description to add-ons to affiliate links to different stores mainly to hard up some box cutter because you know that's what i was using to create this and of course machine tools because you can see that uh, this little add-on even though it's free it's actually quite an amazing uh, tool to use um, not sure if i like this thing piercing through here but it's not really a big deal anyway guys thanks for watching and catch you next video